What's up guys, Enrique here with another Asking for a Friend video, and this time we're talking about the launch key range and how to use it with Logic. Let's get into it. All right, just a quick side note before we head over to the desk and learn how to connect our launch key with Logic, that this method works for all of the launch keys except for the launch key mini. So that means the launch key 25, 49, and 61. This will work for all of those except the mini. So if you have a mini, sorry buddy, you're stuck with mapping. Cool, let's head over to the desk and learn how to do this. All right guys, now that we're here at the desk, we're gonna figure out how to get the launch key working with Logic. And what I mean by working is that not only can we play the keys, which you can do by default, but actually have these knobs work as pans, this as a track selection to then select a different track to record enable and start messing around with. You can even turn on your loop, record, all your transport controls like start and stop, as well as banking through groups of eight to have the pads work as mutes and solos. So to get this going really quick, what you're gonna do first is open up Logic and also plug in your um, launch key into the USB slot on the side of your computer. You can do that basically in any order. I prefer plugging this in before I turn this on. And then what it's gonna ask you is what kind of instrument do you want? For these purposes, I'm gonna select software instrument and just hit create. So now that this is created and record is enabled, you can see that this works. But that's all you can do is just play the keys. So using the Huey control surface that we're about to install in Logic, we'll be able to use the knobs as our pans and everything else that I just mentioned. So to do this, we're gonna hit Logic Pro X here in the top left corner, go to Control Surfaces, and then hit Setup. Now that our Control Surface Setup window is open, ignore the fact that I have two of these here already. My logic is kind of glitching out and will not let me delete these. If you do know how to delete these when the delete button is grayed out, leave it down in the comments because I'm trying to figure this out and it's driving me insane. So before you do this, you're gonna see nothing. It should be completely blank. And then if you're gonna hit new here and hit install. So what we need to install is the Mackie Designs Huey Huey. The reason we're doing this is because there is no, there's technically no Novation control here, even though the Novation controller, in this case, the LaunchKey 25, supports Huey. So Huey is the model and then Huey is the module and you hit add, don't hit scan, hit add. Very tempting. We hit add, it's gonna ask me if I wanna add a third one. In this case, I have too many already, so I'm gonna hit cancel, but you should hit okay. So after you hit okay, you can then close this and you'll see one that pops up. On the one that pops up, we'll focus on this one here on the left, you're gonna right click it and hit show hide inspector. In here, these will be set to something a little different, maybe like this one here, if we click this guy, all and unused. So what we wanna do is select this one, and for the output port, select the launch key in control, not the MIDI, the in control one for the output port. And then the input port, make sure it's also set to the launch key in control, not MIDI. So launch key in control for both of them. Now we can close out of this, and when we come back here, make sure that it's record enabled, and we can play our instrument. But we can also add pans. Maybe a little mod wheel. But where this is cool is we can even hit play, stop. We can maybe hit record. I'll hit stop twice to bring it back to the beginning. Hit record. loop that you'll see that the little loop sign oh I hit one a little too early but the loop sign pops up there you can unloop stop you can do so much with this now it's great and another cool thing is if you were to add more tracks let's just add three more of these software instruments you can see this white bar here represents the bank of what eight knobs we are currently looking at but where this is really interesting is if I click over here in this window and I hit track, it's changing what instrument is record enabled. So this is a quick way to kind of go here and play the bright suitcase. And then go up to the E piano. And 
It's just a great way to get you started using the launch key with Logic. So I hope this video helps. If it does, leave a like. If you have any questions that I didn't get to answer, leave them in the comments below. As always, share the love, share the knowledge. Knowledge is power. Peace.